What's up guys, Caleb here, and this is the story of how I tried and drastically failed to paint a Lego minifigure. Now you may be asking, Caleb, why on earth would you ever paint on a minifigure? And that is a pretty good question, but this all started when I was watching an Ask MNR video from a couple weeks ago. And he was talking about painted minifigures and how cool some of them are, and even showed a couple that he had, and I was really inspired by this one here. It just had a bunch of super cool patterns painted all across it, and just looked super like appealing to me, I don't know, I just really, really liked how this minifigure looked. So then I was like, hey, why don't I try and make my own painted minifigure? It seems pretty easy enough to do this sort of thing, just sort of, you know, throw paint on it. But it turns out it's much, much harder to paint a minifigure than you think, or at least to make it look good, because this does not look good at all. Now, I purposely made a crappy minifigure using some parts that I just didn't use, and I think if I did this in the future, I would want to do it with all black parts, because I spent three or four days just going over it with a black coat of paint every day, because it took a long time for the paint to dry. Before I want to do any pattern, I just want to have it completely black and that took a lot longer than I thought. But once I had this entirely black Lego minifigure, I decided to go over it with some, you know, colors of paint just like the minifigure shown in the Ask of Nar video. I started just sort of going it over with like a white brush and it was looking pretty good and I had seen in this photo here that it just looks sort of random and messy and that's what I liked about it so I tried to just sort of drizzle it over top, like drizzle the paint over top of the minifig. But instead of slowly drizzling out like I was expecting it to, it just all globbed out in one ginormous like gloopy bunch of paint all over the minifigure. And from there, I basically just sort of tried to spread it out a little bit and, you know, there wasn't much saving it from there. I also went back over once the orange paint was dry with a little bit more white, just add some little, like, dots as, like, stars, which you'll see in the close-up here. But overall, I'm disappointed how this figure came out. But I'll go ahead and take you to the table so you can see just how mediocre this painted minifigure turned out. Here is a completed painted minifigure, and overall, it's not terrible looking, but when you look at sort of what I was trying to do, it just does not look nearly as good as that. You see, it just sort of looks like paint actually accidentally spilled on it, which is exactly what happened, like this obviously isn't purposeful, and sort of the paint started to glob up on the arms, so the arms are a little bit thicker, and that doesn't look good at all. The head might actually be my favorite part of this figure, I just think the orange, black, and white all sort of mix together perfectly in the head here, but the rest of the figure just looks pretty messy, and again, the arms just do not look good at all. Overall, it's an incredibly colorful and unique looking minifigure to have in my collection, and I'll keep it on my shelf, even though it doesn't look amazing, it's still just a one-of-a-kind minifigure, I mean, nobody has a minifigure that has this exact pattern, so I mean, hey, I'll take it. But thank you guys so much for watching in this short little video about how I painted my own custom Lego minifig. Let me know in the comments if you would paint any of your own minifigures in Super Production. Sound for now. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like to stay up to date with my latest content here, and I will see you all later. Peace!